I'm Stephen Brown with the Lee County Extension Service and we're going to talk about wild tambourine match with an insect called the thorn bug. This is the first tree with somewhat minimal damage. The second tree, this is severely damaged by the thorn bug, all that sucking, look what it did. And now I'm at the third tree, much in much better shape than the second tree perhaps because it's a bigger, hardier, tougher tree than the smaller second tree. All right, here we are under the tree. Now, let's look closer. As we look closer, we see on the stem look like thorns on the stem of the wild tambourine. These are sucking insects, and they suck the stem to take the sap out of the plant and to feed on the plant. So they like the juice, the sap, the blood that runs through the plant. In this hand, I have some thorn bugs and they're kind of wiggling around. I'm gonna open it so that you can get a closer look. I can feel them moving around in my hand and I do expect them to fly away as I open my hand. So you gotta get a quick look. This is going to be fast. There we go, you can see right there. I'm opening my hand, slowly. There they are, flying away. and I'm prompting some of them to display their ability to fly. I hmm. think I must have deprived them of oxygen. They must really love my, the palm of my hand here. There you go, see them? These are the thorn bugs. And in this case, I got these from a tree called the sweet acacia tree. And look how they are out. They're really close together, a thick colony, and imagine this small stem having to suffer their feeding desire. Grab this one. There you go. See those legs? So this is a thorn bug in all its glory. It's just trying to survive, ladies and gentlemen. So this is where it survives, right there. And you know what? We might be able to train these. These could be um, pets of sort. Who knows? You think so? There you go. See? Training that one to, to circle the, st the, the stem. See that? I'm training it to circle the stem. There you see? You got to train. Keep going. Keep going. Now he's a slow one. This insect produces a lot of honeydew, which is actually their sugary excrement. And what happened is the honeydew drops on something and a black fungus gets on it. We call that fungus sooty mold. Here it is. Sooty mold covered bark. Go a little bit further down. And this is what the bark should look like. See how nice this look? A lot of lichens and stuff, but it's okay. This nice silvery gray color is the natural color of this particular species. Time to say goodbye. I hope you've learned enough about that thorn bug, but there is more. Explore yourself, and there is always something new to learn in the landscape. Until next time, your extension agent in Southwest Florida.